Hey all you original fans, guess what? We want five things to happen. The originals, five things we want from season two. The originals about it with the hell of a first season. One that saw the Vampire Diaries spinoff continually improving upon itself. We hope that tradition continues in season two. And in that spirit, here are five things we want to see in the original sophomore season. Cammy as faction leader. We've had our issues with Cammie's Leah Pipes characters so far, but let's face it, it ain't easy being the only human amongst a, a gang of supernaturals. Cammie's storyline really picked up near the end of season one as she forced to deal with the decline and death of her uncle. Then step into his role as a leader of the human faction, if only in spirit rather than with any official designation. With the human faction, now leaderless, Cammie's character finally getting interesting. We hope to see Cammie come more into her own as representative of the human faction season 2. An effective crossover with TBD. Tyler's Michael Trevino visit to NOLA was pretty lame in the first season, but we forgive the originals. The show's task in its devout season was to set itself apart from its source material, and crossovers can ender danger that mission. Now that the originals have to find itself as a show worthy of watching whatever your relationship to TVD, we wouldn't mind a crossover or two. Now, this is a bit of a paradox. The more unique a spin-off becomes, the less narratively necessary crossovers become. But we think the TVD and the TVD Originals team can pull it off. Motivation outside of the Game of Thrones. The Originals is at its best when it's effectively critically in its main character's quest for absolute control of the French Quarter. We start to lose some interest when it glorifies the everlasting battle for power. Frankly, we don't really care who has the control of the French Quarter. We care how that struggle affects incorporates our heroes. The originals is much more interesting when it is asking the question at cost, does this persuade for power come? We hope it delves further into this theme in season two. More evil Koras. We love the twist that saw the Cora family, led by the Deliciously disaggerly Francesca. Double cross the Michelsons, steal the werewolf rings, trigger the werewolf curse, and then take out much of Nola's vampire population. The originals have done a good job of operating without major threats to the immortal Michelsons, but this show gets really compelling when we see the Michelsons fall. We hope the Corries are much than just a villain flavor of the month and that the chillin' Francesca is around for a longer stay. Michelson family reunion. With so many Michelsons currently kicking around the French Quarter, we can't be the only ones who are hoping for a family reunion, and as in all of the clan in the same place, including Rebecca and Baby Hope. Sure, they may be trying to kill one another, but that doesn't mean this, is, this family of immortals can't sit down for a nice family dinner like civilized vampires first. Think of it as a cross between the originals and Gilmore Girls. Friday night dinners... Bring on the squabble. What do you think? What do you hope to see in season two? Sound off in the comments below. I hope to see Baby Hope, because she's adorable. She's really adorable. Alright, gotta go, guys.